Hey, my wonderful people. As you can see, I'm having a bad hair day. But anyways, yeah, so this video is going to be about my heat damage. Now, this isn't something that's recent. I've had heat damage, I say, like, for a few months now, probably around the time. The last time I flat ironed my hair was Christmas, and that's when I um, obtained probably um, the worst amount of heat damage um, to my hair. Now, I've had heat damage previously, but um, it wasn't as bad as the last time that I flat ironed my hair. And um, I'm trying to think of what I did differently the last time I flat ironed my hair. I did use different products, um, different uh, heat protection products. Um, I probably didn't use them as heavily as I should have, but there really shouldn't have been you know that much of, of a difference I think what happened was um, pretty much I just had my flat iron on way too high of a heat setting and no matter what heat products or no matter what heat protection products that you use um, if your flat iron is on too high of a setting you will get heat damage it does not matter how good your heat protection products are so I think that was one mistake I made. Um, another mistake I made, I definitely um, re-flat ironed my hair, which is something that I never do, but I was, I don't know. It's like when you start flat ironing and you know that you have heat damage already, you get careless and you're like, okay, well, how much worse can it get? Well, it can get worse. Let's just put it that way. So I wouldn't recommend... Um, becoming careless with your heat tools because it can get worse. Um, as far as the heat damage that I have, um, I'm not going to say it's like the absolute worst. I've ha I have seen worst. Um, worst. I have seen worst. <laughs> um, I think it's just that I was more upset with myself because I know better. I have been doing my hair for so long and I've been so careful when I was since I was relaxed I've been so careful about heat damage and I don't know I guess I got a little carried away this time because I super great results like hair was straight it was probably the best uh, results that I've had um, since I started flat ironing my hair I think that was probably the fourth attempt at flat ironing my hair and that was the best time as far as products go I use the I forget exactly the name of it but you know the, the chai thermal spray and I use the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Serum to um, flat iron my hair with um, that product I'm not like I don't think it's the best to be honest um, if you're going to be using higher temperatures so I think I'm going to toss not really toss it but put it aside for now and go back to my one and only argan oil because I've never I, I never got heat damage using that product so I'm gonna go back to it even though I love the way the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine smells it smells great and I love that after I flat iron you can still smell it in my hair my hair doesn't smell burnt or anything not that your hair should smell burnt at all but I'm just saying like you don't get that product smell that you do when you flat that you get when you flat iron your hair yeah but it's pretty depressing <laughs> I haven't flat ironed my hair since Christmas and um, I didn't really plan on flat ironing for an indefinite time um, but I do have a work event coming up that I really kind of want to flat, my, flat iron my hair for. And the summer is coming and I do want to get in one more uh, flat iron before then. Because I don't, flat iron, I don't flat iron my hair during the summer really because there's no point. Because my hair usually reverts back anyway because I kind of sweat a lot. So um, there's no point then. I do want to flat iron... Uh, one more time before summer just to have my hair straight again before then and I kind of want to get a professional trim and I don't know like where to go 
that I can get a good trim with just my hair in its natural state. I don't know any places and I've been searching so hard on Yelp and I just haven't seen anything with like consistently good reviews and I haven't found a like hair salon that focuses on natural curly kinky hair texture. I mean I've seen salons that focus on curly hair but not necessarily my curly hair if you get what I'm saying. I think what I'll do is flat iron my hair myself because I don't trust any other stylists um, up here where I am and um, probably just go to like a super cuts or something to just get my ends trimmed really um, because that's all I really need. I'm not looking for a haircut right now. I'm still trying to, you know, grow my hair and get it long before I worry about like a shape haircut type situation. And I want to grow out my uh, heat damage ends before I worry about getting a haircut too because, I mean, it's not that bad. My ends do curl, but there are parts of my hair that are like really straight looking. If I were to do a wash and go, as you saw in my um, um, previous video where I talk about um, my goals for, my hair goals for this year, um, you can see that I have some loose, really, really loose um, ends that are still, they still curl, but they're really loose compared to the roots of my hair. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to grow it out and it's funny because it's like rediscovering your texture again like I noticed like I was putting my fingers in my hair the other day and I'm like oh yeah that's what my hair feels like <laughs> it's so bad but um I do miss it and I do miss how well my hair responded to twist outs and braid outs before I um What's the word? I'm using the word obtained, but that's not the word I want to use. But before I obtained my heat damage, that's why I'm wearing a hat right now. It's wash day, actually. So that's why I'm wearing a hat because my hair looks absolutely crazy. And um, it's just, it's pretty bad. I need to, I'm actually going to do a dusting today so that, you know, um, I can get rid of some of the bad ends and my hair has been breaking off a little bit too because I have been neglecting to keep up with my um, moisturizing and sealing at night. I'm just so bad right now. And you guys will just have to be on this journey with me in getting my hair back to where it should be. I thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, just all the support that I get. Um, and I just want to say once again, like, uh, I'm so glad that you guys are subscribing um, because I really do need the support because um, I, ha I haven't been like in the mood to film videos lately. Just, I don't know. I'm in the funk. But yeah, just, um, I just thank you guys for watching and, um, you know commenting on my videos and subscribing and liking them um, I really appreciate everything and we're getting closer to 200 subscribers so like I promised on my Instagram if I do get to 200 I will be doing a giveaway because that is a milestone for me because I have been on YouTube for quite a while and I haven't filmed consistently until recently so I'm just happy that so fast I am getting to 200 subscribers, faster than I expected actually. So um, yeah, so keep subscribing guys because I will do a giveaway for you guys. And um, yeah, make sure you guys do subscribe or subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I be on there. Okay, <laughs> I'll do a hair update once I trim my ends you know, uh, professionally. That's when I'll do an official hair update and that should be hopefully next month, hopefully. Yeah, just stay tuned for that and I will see you guys next time. Bye.